Good day everyone. Welcome to our Fisheries Professionals Licensure Examination Review. This review is intended for those fisheries graduates and students who will take the fisheries board exam. In this video, we are going to respond to some possible board exam questions. But before we proceed, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. So let us start! Number 16. What do you call the expression of hydrogen ion concentration in water which serves as an indicator of acidity and basicity? What do you call the expression of hydrogen ion concentration in water which serves as an indicator of acidity and basicity? A. Ion B. Hydrogen sulfide C. pH or D. Turbidity The correct answer for this question is letter C, pH. The pH measures the degree of acidity or basicity or alkalinity of a solution. It is used to express the hydrogen ion concentration of a certain fluid or solution like water. The pH indicates the ability of the solution to give up hydrogen ions as acidic solutions or you take up hydrogen ions as basic solutions. So here, we have the illustration of the pH of water, wherein pH 7 is the neutral, and if you will going down to 7 to 0, it is acidic. Then greater than 7 up to 14, it is basic. The greater the division from pH 7, the more intense is the acidity or basicity of the natural water. Moreover, pH of natural waters are found to be high during the day and low at night. This variation is due to the large influence of concentration of carbon dioxide on the pH. Carbon dioxide dissolves in water to form carbonic acid, a weak acid, and this lowers the pH. The ideal to check the pH is at daybreak and afternoon to get a profile of the diurnal shifts in pH. The pH values of about 6.5 to 9 at daybreak are best for fish production. pH between 6 and 4 slows the growth of the aquatic organisms, while pH values of 4 down to 0 and pH 11 up to 14 may lead to their death. A touch is a table of the pH values with its corresponding effects on fish, so you need to be familiar with those values and its effects on fish. Number 17. How do you treat or cure new pand? How do you treat or cure new pand? A you need to add gypsum B. You need to add calcium sulfate C. You need to add organic matter or letter D. All of these The answer for this question is letter D, all of these. Question number 18. How is salinity expressed? The options are A. PPM or parts per million B. PPB or parts per billion C. Per mil or letter D. Milligram per liter The answer for this question is letter C, per meal. The term salinity 
does not restrict itself to the levels of sodium chloride present. It is the measure of the total concentration of all the dissolved salts present in natural body of water expressed as grams of salt per kilograms of water. The term salinity also includes all other dissolved ions such as potassium, magnesium, calcium, and sulfate ions in smaller concentrations as well as trace amounts of many salts. Aside from gram per kilogram, salinity is also expressed in various units or ways as follows. PPT or parts per thousand, per mil, and percent. There are various techniques or methods in measuring salinity. The first one is the less expensive, the density technique. The instrument used to measure is hydrometer. Recorded density is converted to salinity by employing conversion table. Number two is the refractive index of seawater method. It is the simplest and most rapid method. The instrument used is refractometer. It is directly measures the salinity of water. Next is the conductivity method, the method of high precession. The device used in this method is much more expensive and yet require a fairly large sample. It is useful more often to the researchers than to aquaculturists. And last is the titration method. Titration method requires reagent solutions or chemicals and is done in the laboratory with the aid of urette, Erlenmeyer flask, and others. Moreover, we have three classifications of aquatic environments on the basis of salinity. We have the fresh water with salinity of less than 0.5 ppt or parts per thousand, the brackish water with 0.5 to greater than 34 ppt, and last is the marine water with 34 to 37 ppt. The average salinity of the marine water is 35 ppt. Number 19. What type of oyster culture method usually used in areas with relatively shallow waters and soft muddy bottoms? The options are A. Stake methods B. Rough methods C. Broadcast methods or letter D. Flat hanging methods The answer for this question is letter A, stake methods. When we talk about oyster, it is a mollusk species under class Bivalvia that is usually found in brackish water with presence of natural food such as plankton, organic matters, and detritus. The shells of oyster are made up of calcium carbonate and conchylion. It reaches its maturity in one year and it is a protentric species wherein its first year is a sperm releasing male and as it grow older, egg releasing female. A female of oyster can spawn 100 million eggs annually. Oysters are filter feeders and their main important food is the diatoms. Moreover, in our country, we have 11 identified species of oysters and 4 of them are commercially valued such as the slipper shaped oyster or the Talabangchinellas, Casastria eridale, the subtrigonal oblong oyster, Kukong Caballo, Sacostria malabonensis, palm rooted oyster, Pulid Pulid, Sacostria palmepes, curly or wide oyster or culot, Sacostria colculata. The difference of those four commercially valued oyster species in the Philippines is shown in this slide. So, please take note of this. Furthermore, when we talk about oyster farming technologies in our country, we have two methods, the traditional and the non-traditional or modern. Traditional methods include the broadcast, stake, and plant hanging, while on the non-traditional or modern technology, we have the raft and longline methods. Question number 20. 
what is the range of the self oxygen level to maximize the growth of cultured species? A. 0 to 3 ppm or parts per million. B. 5 to 8 ppm. C. 10 to 15 ppm or letter D. 15 to 25 ppm. The answer for this question is letter B, 5 to 8 ppm. The self oxygen or DO is a gas with a great importance in fish culture. It is highly critical water quality parameter. Therefore, we should know the range of tolerance for the self oxygen of our culture stock in order to avoid any circumstances. Attached here are the range of tolerance for the self oxygen in fish. A DO reading less than 3 ppm is too low for fish populations. 3 to 5 ppm is a range of tolerance stressful conditions in fish. 6 ppm supports spawning. Greater than 7 ppm supports growth and activity. And 9 ppm or greater than 9 ppm supports abundant fish populations. A DO or dissolved oxygen of 7 to 8 mg per liter is normal for activity and behavior of all organisms based on the S and Rosenberg 1995 and Robalais et al. 2001. When we talk about the concentration of dissolved oxygen in ocean water, it is typically between 7 and 8 mg per liter. If concentration falls below 4 mg per liter, organisms will begin to react with mobile forms either avoiding or migrating out of the area. Waters with less than 0.2 mg per liter dissolve oxygen are called anoxic and are unable to support most of life forms. Waters with no measurable dissolved oxygen are called hypoxic. Number 21. What is the active component of dairy food that is toxic to fishes? The options are A. Cyanogen, B. Mimosin, C. Protinon, or letter D. Saponin. The answer for this question is letter C. Protinon. When we talk about rotinon, it is an odorless, colorless, crystalline isoflavon used as insecticide, pesticide, and pesticide. It is produced by instruction from the roots and stems of several tropical and subtropical plant species, especially belong to genera Lochancarpus and Deris. On the other hand, Saponins are naturally occurring compounds that are widely distributed in all cells of legume plants. It is a class of chemical compounds found in various plants such as in soybean, tasted cake, and others. It is a soup-like foam when shaken in aqueous solutions. While memosin is a toxic non-protein amino acid that is first isolated from memosapudica. It is stops cells division. And last, the cyanogen is a colorless toxic gas with a pungent odor found in almonds, cassava, bamboo shoots, cashew, and among others. Number 22. Which of the following is an example of closed culture system? Which of the following is an example of closed culture system? A. Pond B. Pen C. Cage or Letter D. Tank The answer for this question is letter D, tank. Basically, there are three categories of culture system. The first one is the open system. It is generally farming in natural bodies of water such as in oceans, bays, estuaries, coastal lagoons, rivers, or lakes. It is most often used for commercial and recreational fisheries. It is low cost and requires minimal management. 
The modified open system involves the confinement of fish in enclosures, for example in net, pens, floating cages, baskets, trays, and others. The second one is the semi-closed systems. Semi-closed systems are those in which the culture water makes one pass through the system and is discharged. Example, fish pan. And last is the closed system. Closed systems are those where the water is reconditioned and recirculated to culture units. They are also called as closed recirculating systems. Question number 23. What is the sensory body part of freshwater prawns used to locate their food and prey? The options are A. Antennae B. Walking legs C. Swimmerets and letter D. Europads The answer is letter A. Antenae number 24. Band preparation is one of the most important components of fish culture and may affect the production yields if not properly done. Which of the following activities is not part of the band preparation? A. Drying B. Lining C. Feeding or letter D. Pest and predator control The answer is letter C, feeding. So we have here the seven activities in pan preparation. The first one is the soil sampling. Soil samples are collected for pH and organic matter contents analysis. Collection of samples are done on wet or moist soil using soil auger or an improvised sample made of bamboo or PVC pipe. Next to that is the pan drying. The most practical, cheap, and effective method of eliminating unwanted species to culture period. Drying oxidizes harmful chemical substances, especially the sulfides, and facilitate mineralization of organic matter. You need to dry the pan for about 3-5 to five days until the bottom soil hardens and cracks or when it is firm enough to hold one's weight without sinking more than 5 cm. The third one is the leaching. It is done by flushing or washing the pan bottom with water to leach away undesirable metallic compounds like aluminum, iron, and exist sulfur ions. It is done in acidic pan soil. Next to that is tilling, also known as plowing. It improves the bottom soil quality by exposing subsoil to the atmosphere, speeding up the oxidation process, and the releases of nutrients that are locked in the soil. This is done with the use of rake, shovel, plow, and others. Next is the control of undesirable species. Undesirable species are pests, competitors, and predators that consist of crustaceans, mollusks, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. Competitors can compete for spaces, food, oxygen, and others with the cultured species. And next is liming. Liming is an application of calcium and magnesium compounds to the soil for the purpose of reducing soil acidity. Lime is usually applied during or after the pan drying stage. There are four kinds of lime. The first one is the calcium carbonate, the calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide, and the dolomite or the combination of the calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. Quantity of lime to be applied on fish pad are computed using this formula. And last is the fertilization. Fertilization is an important and necessary step in extensive and semi-intensive methods of farming operations. The usual way of increasing carrying capacity of a shrimp pond is to improve its natural fertility through the addition of organic or inorganic fertilizers. Question number 25. What do you call 
the soils characterized by its great acidity, pH less than 4, and by the presence of generally abundant yellow metals of iron sulfate compound and red tinges of iron oxides after exposure to air and the bacterial activity from mineral containing iron and sulfur. A. Jerosite B. Pyrite C. Acid sulfate soils and letter D. Sulfuric soils The correct answer is letter C, acid sulfate soils. Jarosite is a family of iron hydroxy sulfate minerals that commonly occur in acidic, sulfate-rich environments and mining and ore processing races. Pyrite is a shiny yellow mineral consisting of iron disulfide and typically occurring as intersecting cubic crystals. And sulfuric soils are soils that are high in sulfur compounds. Question number 26. At what larval stage does eye stock ablation is performed on freshwater prawns? At what larval stage does eye stock ablation is being performed on freshwater prawns? The options are A. Stage 5 B. Stage 4 C. Stage 3 D. Stage 2 The answer for this question is letter D, stage 2. Number 27. What is the rank of the Philippines among the world's top producers of salt? A. 20 B. 30 C. 28 or letter D. 23 The answer for this question is letter C, 28. In 2012, Philippines is the 35th in rank among the top producers of salt in the world with 600,000 tons or 0.29% of the world annual production. And in current, according to Bartolome et al. 2022, the Philippines ranked 28 among 91 countries in terms of the production of salt. Moreover, Pangasinan, together with the provinces of Mindoro Occidental and Bulacan, are the major salt producing provinces of the country. Salt comes from the Latin word sal, meaning salt. It was once a valuable commodity and it has been used as a currency for trading. The English word salary comes from the word salt. Salt is well known function as a preserver and flavor enhancer. It is also fundamental to the taste and texture of lots of foods such as bread and cheese. It is used in tanning, dyeing and bleaching, and the production of battery, soap, and chlorine. The chemical industry is the largest consumer of salt. Adults need 4 to 5 grams of common salt per day and with balanced nutrition. Salt is a carrier of iodine and fluoride which are essential elements in maintaining good health. In the province of Pangasinan, which name means a place where salt is made, salt is traditionally made by solar drying. Majority of salt produced are in the municipalities of the Sol, Bulinao, and Labrador. Later, when the Philippines Salt Law RA 8172 was implemented, salt making by boiling was adopted in San Fabian, Bulinao, the Sol, and inland town of Losales to produce finer salt for ionization purposes. In Pangasinan, this method of solar drying is called balara. Major drawback of this method is the use of polluted water in urban areas and the coarseness of the granules. Balara salt is used in the preparation of fermented fish sauce for bagoong and patis. The resulting product is of poor quality. Bulacan in Central Zone used to be one of the biggest producers of salt. The salt industry could have begun in the coastal areas in 1940s. Question number 28. Which of the following is the first telapine species introduced in the Philippines? The options are A. Oreochromis aureus B. Oreochromis mosambicus C. Oreochromis nolaticus Letter D. 
Coptodon or Tilapia Zilay. The answer for this question is letter B, Oreochromis mosambicus. Oreochromis mosambicus or the Mozambique tilapia is also known as wonder fish. They are native in Africa and Asia and introduced in 1950 from Thailand. The culture of this tilapian species failed to promote commercial production because of the wanted characteristics such as the following. First, Early maturation resulting in overpopulation in fish ponds. Second, standard growth. Third, small size at harvest. Fourth, an appealing dark color. And fifth, becoming pests in brackish water ponds. With this, it led to the launching of a research program at the Freshwater Aquaculture of the Central Luzon State University in 1974 on monosex male culture and sex reversal of female through hormone treatments of tilapia fry. This was the earliest genetic application to improve the tilapia production in the country that also marked emergence of aligned technologies for commercial tilapia production that were developed over succeeding decades. And there are other species of tilapia introduced in our country such as the Oreochromis aureus or the blue tilapia or Israeli tilapia. So this was introduced in 1977 and the origin of this species is in the USA. It is a cold tolerant species of tilapia that is native in Africa and Eurasia. We also have here the species of Oreochromis linoticus or the Nal tilapia plapla, giant tilapia mestizo or kinabasi. This was introduced in the Philippines in 1972 from Thailand. It is widely introduced for aquaculture in many countries. Next to that is the tilapia zilai or the zilai tilapia or red belly tilapia. This was introduced in 1973 from Taiwan. It is native in Africa and Eurasia. It is also introduced in many countries. We also have here the Oreochromis honorum or the wami tilapia introduced in 1971 from Singapore. The red tilapia is the mutants of Oreochromis nolotikus and Oreochromis mosambicus. It is locally known as Kintong Biyaya. This was introduced on 1979 from Taiwan, but it was first seen at the Trinidad Binget on 1976 or 1977. It is popular because of the resemblance of marine red snapper, a high-value species. Lastly is the Oreochromis spilorus locally known as Sabaki tilapia. This was introduced on 1998 from Kuwait. Question number 29. If a gram of female breeder can yield about 5,000 hatchlings, how many larvae can be derived from 47 grams female breeder? A. 135,000 B. 535,000 C. 335,000 or letter D, 235,000. The correct answer for this question is letter D, 235,000. So you need to multiply the 5,000 into 47 grams of female breeder. Question number 30. Which of the following is an example component of biological filtration system? The choices are A. Seaweeds and bivalves B. Chlorine C. UV treatment or letter D. Gravel and sand The answer for this question is letter A, seaweeds and bivalves. There are four types of filtration system. The first one is the mechanical. It separates the solids and liquids. It collects particles and larger objects and allow water to pass through. Example are the screen, gravel, and sand. Next to that is the chemical. 
Chemicals are used in, in eradicating harmful toxic materials and other components in water. Example is the UV treatment and chlorine. Next is the gravitational. It utilizes the force of gravity to separate particles from the fluid. Example is the sedimentation, which allows particulate to settle at the bottom. And last is the biological. It is used in recirculating or closed aquaculture system. Use of biological entities to filter out dirty and bad microorganisms in the water. Example are the seaweeds, bivalves, and probiotics. So that ends our review questions. I hope you learned a lot from this video. See you in the next session. Thank you.